If you ask me, the best thing about cooking is actually having company. So thank you for cooking with me today. I have something different in mind today. I'm going to make a clam chowder using winter squash. These are just some of the ingredients we'll be using today. So why don't we start with the most important, bacon of course. And I have approximately two cups of chopped bacon, one medium onion, some celery, and here actually it's a cup of celery, six medium potatoes chopped, four cups of winter squash, we'll be using some garlic, fresh parsley, fresh ginger, and of course cleans. I think nothing's better than a homemade meal. We'll start by adding two cups of bacon to three heated pot. When bacon starts turning golden brown, add half a cup of olive oil. And now we'll add one medium onion and allow onion to cook for about three, three minutes before adding celery. We're looking good here. Now is a good time to add celery. Here comes the cup of celery. And we'll let celery cook for another couple of three minutes. Now we're going to add some garlic. We'll use three cloves of garlic. And these are three large cloves of garlic. Here goes garlic. And now we're going to add ginger, potatoes, and the winter squash. Mm, yum! I suggest you chop ginger in small pieces or if it's easier just shred it and I would say approximately there are about a tablespoon and a half of ginger, fresh ginger. I'm just going to chop it a little bit more, make it finer and I'm going to add it to our fried onion, celery and garlic. Here goes ginger and now we're going to add potatoes and squash, and as soon as we add potatoes and the squash, we'll also add some clam broth. And now here we go with winter squash. That was four cups of winter squash, and I have uh, six medium potatoes chopped in here, but um, I also have some water, so I think approximately there's about cup and a half of water here and I'm going to pour all this together. And now we're just going to let it sit. Now it's a good time to add some black pepper. I would say approximately about a quarter of a teaspoon. Also allow potatoes and winter squash to cook until soft. While soup is simmering I have pre-cut some parsley. I have a lot of fresh parsley here. You would need probably about a quarter cup, but I think I have here maybe um, a half a cup or even more than that. I love parsley in my soup, so feel free to use as much as, as you want. Ten minutes into cooking, and now we're going to add some clam juice. Just go like this, use some of the juice that's in a can, and allow soup to cook longer. One suggestion is to pay attention to the salt content. Bacon has a lot of salt and so do clams. So in my dish, I will not be using any salt. And I suggest that you try your soup before you add any salt. I think you will find that you want it. Here we go with clams. And I'm now going to add another cup of water and let it simmer for another 10 minutes before I add parsley. Just a little bit more water. Altogether, it was additional cup. And now we're going to let it simmer. This is just the perfect finishing touch. Now the, par now the parsley is in. I'm going to turn off the stove allow soup to cool off for about 10 to 15 minutes before it's served. Mmm, delicious. Recipe 
recipes like this are so easy to make. They're delicious and they are very fast. So I would encourage you to try not only this recipe, but also other recipes that we have on our Cooking and Kids channel. Also, I would greatly appreciate if you can check our cookbooks on the Amazon.com. Your support is much needed as we continue our fight against childhood obesity in America. Thank you for your attention and your support. And until next cooking adventure, blessings and love. Bye.